very good evening from City Walk here at the Universal Orlando Resort. In this video, we're going to take you for a bit of a tour around, show you what City Walk's all about. We'll have a look at some of the dining locations, entertainment options, and have a little bit of food as well. Oh, we absolutely love it around here. The vibe is just electric. Now, of course, City Walk connects the two parks here at Universal Orlando Resort. You've got the Studios Park on one side, Islands of Adventure on the other, and this huge entertainment district in the middle. And as much as I've been coming here for nearly 10 years, I never filmed a dedicated video showing you around City Walk. And I thought with this time with us staying on site at Cabana Bay, it would be the perfect time to do it, really. It'd be so good, like taking you around and show you what City Walk has to offer. It's so vibrant around here. I mean, look at all the lights. It's pumping, especially when the park's closed as well. It's something for everyone to do. Hotel guests, it's also free entry to come down here. So even if you don't have a park ticket, you can come down here and enjoy everything that City Walk has to offer. It's such a vibe around here. And I love this view from up here on the balcony as well, looking down over everybody exiting the parks and just soaking up the atmosphere. And what a brilliant view down towards Islands of Adventure. You can see the light spinning round and the top of the lighthouse up there. The Hulk coaster all lit up as well. And yeah, it's amazing up here. So many different options. And yeah, in terms of food, just up here, and you got Burger King, Panda Express, and Moe's just up here as well. You might not have heard of Moe's if you're from the UK, but so what is it, Charlotte? I really like Moe's. So it's like tacos and burritos. It's just so nice. It's just lovely. You really like it in there, don't welcome you? Welcome to Moe's. Hey. Every time you go in, you get welcome to Moe's. <laughs> so yeah, you got some of the more cheaper options just up here at the top. But yeah, they're all kind of connected in that section. You've also got a cinema just over here as well, and you can see the entrance of that over there. There's a adventure golf course here, which we're going to be doing. So that'll be coming up at the end of the vlog uh, and along with that too yeah we're going to check out some of the food options i really craving a voodoo donut tonight love voodoo donuts and also go to one of my favorite places here in city walk tonight that's toothsome chocolate emporium oh, you absolutely love it oh it's fantastic over there yeah just thought i'd show you the view out this way too so of course you've got like the walkway over in this direction so you have your security search just over here and then it kind of brings you down this way along the moving walkway yeah that's the hollywood driving golf just over there which we're going to be doing at the end of this vlog as well of course Bubba Gump Shrimp Co just over here on the right it's all the music all the lighting and yeah it's on multiple levels around here as well which is brilliant Cinnabon just over there and the surf shop too we've also got the universal shops around here too so we'll have a stroll through them and yeah in terms of hours it's over until midnight tonight parks were closed from eight o'clock and it's like an extra four hours really up here uh, city walking it's open throughout the day as well i mean the great thing is with universal the resort's so well connected you can just walk out between the parks and if you want to come and dine out here in the middle of the day it's not really eating that much into your park time because it's all so close to each other um here at this resort which is fantastic yeah there's the universal studios store off to the right we'll have a little walk through there big coat bottle down here in the middle as well i like how all the palm trees are kind of lined with all the lighting as well. So yeah, when you walk in, of course, you've got the Studios Park, which is about a two minute walk in that direction and straight on for Islands of Adventure. We got another shop just over there. That's the Universal Legacy store. So we're gonna have a walk through there. And just kind of soak up the atmosphere around here. I love it around here on a night, isn't it lovely? Oh, it's so nice with all the lights and it really makes it. It does, yeah, you've got quite a few entertainment options as well. You've got like a karaoke bar which is fantastic. I love it in there. I've not been in there for quite a few years, actually. Hopefully we'll get in there later on and show what that's like after a visit to Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. Big fire just off to the left-hand side. One of the many dining options that there is here. And that's the thing you've got a mix between, of course, your premium kind of sit-down dining restaurants. And along with that, you've got your quick service options. Hey, what's going on here? Hey! What's he doing? He's trying to get everybody in, I think, after uh, they've come out of the park. That's fantastic. Love the signs as well, all the neons. Margaritaville over this way. Yeah, a lot of the restaurants have got like, their own retail stores as well, which is fantastic. I love this little bar over here. Let me show you this. Yeah, oh, look at this. The vibe is great. Yeah, it's called the Lone Palm Airport. As you can see, you've actually got the aircraft itself just over here, which is awesome. Yeah, loads of seating. How nice is that? Right next to the bar. So awesome, isn't it, that? And you actually sit under the wing over there too, which is brilliant. And if we look across the water here, you've got the huge Coliseum. That's actually a Hard Rock Cafe. Been in there before, really nice. And it's massive in there as well. I believe it's the biggest 
hard rock cafe in the world. And right next to it on the left is Tucson Chocolate Emporium, my favorite eatery around here. And look at the theme in. Wow, look at that. So all the chimneys, all the steam coming out the top as well, which is brilliant. And it's got a proper steampunk vibe to it too. Now this is one of my favorite parts of City Walk, and that's the fact you've got the boat transportation that leads to the different hotels that are all connected by the waterway. And you've got the water taxis, free of charge to go on, and not just for hotel guests either. Uh, if you just want a ride on these, you can do. You don't need to be staying over in one of the resorts. You can just go and queue up and jump on a water taxi. And as we cross over the bridge just here and make our way down to Tucson, of course, this is the entrance to Islands of Adventure. And yeah, you can just see the Hulk over there lit up, which always looks amazing at night. And that's the thing, you can walk out of this park, it's a five minute walk down here, you're at the Universal Globe, which is just over there, and the entrance to Universal Studios Florida. Yeah, it's very well landscaped around here as well, and I have covered it around here in vlogs before, but kind of as part of the theme park vlogs and just showing you a little bit. So I thought it'd be perfect to take you on a full tour and show you all the kind of options that there is around here, because it deserves its own vlog around here in City Walk. Oh, I love that theme, Islands of Adventure theme music. They actually released the full album on the official YouTube channel of Universal Orlando just a few weeks ago. Beautiful theme, that is. Now that has got to be one of the most impressive facades for a restaurant I've ever seen. I love it so much. And yeah, it's massive outside. I mean, look at it. The building is amazing. And of course, having the smokestacks on the top there really adds to it. And that steampunk vibe they're going for. You've got the cogs just outside here as well. And yeah, it's beautiful in here. Fantastic desserts. And of course, they also do main meals in here as well. There is a restaurant, and of course you've got a gift shop in here too. Let's go and have a look inside. Look at all the lighting out here as well. And yeah, it's got a great location as well in between the two parks, which is fantastic. And from up here, you actually get a really good view just looking out over City Walk as well. So yeah, we kind of started the vlog over on that side and we've got loads more things to explore over on that side as well. And then of course you've got the river that runs down the middle, all man-made, which is very impressive. Let's go and head inside to some Chocolate Emporium. Love the theme in here. I'm a big steampunk fan. Like all the machinery and the merch is actually fantastic for this as well. You get like all the hats and all that kind of stuff. T-shirts. And of course the main thing is the treats that you can get inside here. All these macarons just over here. Oh, oh. And these are really nice. I have had a couple of these before. Strawberry cheesecake truffle I've had in the past and that's very nice. So much choice. Slightly bigger ones just down here as well. And that's the thing, it's kind of like a bakery in here as well. As you can see some of the options that we've got, all the cakes and desserts down here. Oh wow, I might have to get one of those. What do you like the look of? I'm not too sure. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you looking at now though? Oh, that looks cheesecake. nice. Oh, you don't like cheesecake though, do you? Well, I'll have it. <laughs> Well, Charlotte's in the queue for one of those on that side. I've come over here to get my favorite, which is a milkshake. It's called Chocolate Times Five, and it's absolutely delicious. And yeah, you get that from the little milkshake bar just over here. As I mentioned, you have got a restaurant in here as well, and that's over there in the middle. So yeah, as much as it does look like desserts only from the outside, it isn't. They've got a full menu as well inside here. Let's go and have a look at the milkshake menu and show you that. And here's a look at the menu for you here in Susan Chocolate Emporium for your milkshakes and sundaes just up there. So yeah, chocolate times five is $17. That's what I'm going for. Then you got some sundaes down there at the bottom that range between 13 and 14. And then of course, yeah, your milkshakes are kind of 16 to 17 just at the top. Oh, I can see one at $15 there. Oh, here it is then, my chocolate times five. Look at this. I do like the little themed holder that it comes in just here. Very nice. 
Now, as you can see, we've got the milkshake in there with the cream on top and strawberries, which are my favourite. You've got some little buttons on there as well. And of course, you've got a little chocolate coming out from the side. And you know what? I've like, worn these for a couple of years actually, but. Mm. Mm. Tastes just as good as I remember. Really nice. Oh, I tell you what, a visit to Toothsome never disappoints. That was really nice. Expensive for a milkshake, but you are paying for the experience in there. I tell you what, I do miss though. They used to actually have some characters walking around in there. I, mean, I didn't see any of those tonight, but uh, yeah, it's a fantastic venue. And look at all the lighting on there as well and all the theming. It really is fantastic. Gonna stroll around this way now. Of course, you've got the Hard Rock Cafe. Up here on the left hand side, it's very well themed, big Colosseum. And yeah, the inside of that's really nice too. Another look there at the theming for the Hard Rock Cafe, biggest one in the world. Huge sign, big guitar up there as well. And yeah, all the wall kind of crumbling away. I do love that. It's like the guitar has pushed the wall forward. Yeah, it's fantastic in there. It's absolutely humongous. Oh, and here's a look at Rip Ride Rocket, a favourite for many people. And of course, yeah, it's located in Universal Studios, Florida, but they do light it up at night here, even when the park's closed, it's all lit up and certainly it looks the part. And here's another nice view, looking across the water to the other side of City Walks. Yeah, obviously we started up that way, walked all the way round over the bridge, stopped at Tucson, now heading round onto the other side. But yeah, it's beautiful round here. Love the vibes. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Dum, dum. <laughs> I love the theme and of course you got the globe just here however since we arrived at Universal it's not been spinning we're not seeing it going round once so this is really weird obviously it normally spins round it's got Universal on both sides tell you what though plenty of mist coming out look at that it's pumping out of the bottom of the fountain just there and yeah it's absolutely massive but yeah hopefully they'll get it spinning again soon it must be broken and it's closed now tonight, but there's a look at the entrance to Universal Studios Florida. So like I say, it's all connected really well here at this resort. Both of the theme parks pretty much next door to each other. And then you can walk between the two or of course get the Hogwarts Express inside. It does seem weird not seeing the globe spinning round. What a beautiful view. I tell you what is going round though. The light in the top of the lighthouse at Iowa. So yeah, it gives you a good idea really how close the two parks are if you've never been here before. Really nice, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. I just wish the globe was spinning round. I'm sure it will be at some point yeah, soon. Yeah, hopefully they get it fixed because that will really make them see this spinning. Yeah, I can't believe that it's not working, to be honest. Like, you'd think that they wanted to get that fixed, like, really straight away because, you know, it's a big part of it, isn't it? Head down this way now. Of course, you've got the NBC restaurants just over there on the left-hand side as well with the big screens. And we'll carry on down this way to some of the shops. We've got the Universal Studios store actually coming up round here. So yeah, we've kind of done a loop round. But it does actually go upstairs and round the back City Walk too. So we're going to have a look at that. And that's where you've got some more entertainment options. You've got escape rooms here now. You could do a Back to the Future one that I'd love to do. But yeah, lots of restaurants here. Yeah, like I say, this one's all NBC Sports that we can see just over there as well. And yeah, crowd levels. It's nice around here tonight. It's got an atmosphere, but it's not too busy. And of course, I mentioned those water taxis earlier in the vlog. That's where you get them. And of course, they take you to the different resorts that are all connected by the waterway. There's quite a few small little food booths down here as well. You got Auntie Anne's off to the right. And one of the most popular here in City Walk is over here on the left. It's Voodoo Donuts. Look at this massive queue all the way outside. I was planning on having one tonight, but to be honest, after that, what I've just had that milkshake, I can't stomach anything else. But we're going to be filming this vlog partially as well tomorrow night uh, where we're going to be doing the golf as well. And of course, we've got a special appearance coming up from Brett, which is going to be nice. Oh, it's always great to see Brett. Good friend of ours who lives out here in the States. Oh, so we're going to have a game of golf. Oh, that'll be nice. God, he's a professional golfer as well, so we'll see yeah, how, you know. see if he wins. Can't wait to see how he is. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to save him one of these till tomorrow night. Has got quite a queue over there as well, but he does move quite fast. However, if you don't want to queue up, you can do the mobile ordering. And yeah, they've got a mobile ordering area just over there. And um, so you do it on your phone, select the time, and you can be straight over there, which is good. This always looks the part at night. Look at all the lighting up there. Dancing with the music as well. And yeah, it kind of leads up to the top where the Burger King is. Panda Express around there as well. Bread box on the left, that's a popular one. And also, is it Menchie's Frozen Yogurts just over there on the side? That's how I pronounce it. I've heard a lot about bread box. People always say that's really good. Never tried it myself, but might do at some point. 
It's all about the voodoo donuts for me, but yeah, I'll be saving one of those um, for tomorrow, and of course, that'll be coming up shortly um, in this vlog for you all. Oh, I love the chandelier up there, and of course, one of the best things about coming into the shops is getting the air conditioning in here. Oh, it's so nice. To be honest, it's not too humid at the moment. It's beautiful weather we've had so far. And yeah, look at all your Harry Potter merchandise in here. And what I love about this in here is how you've actually got plans for the area. You can see all up the top there. So you can see like some of the buildings, which is really nice in the wisdom world of Harry Potter. What Charlotte's seen over here, it takes your fancy. I didn't know what it was. There's nothing in it. <laughs> yeah, you know, just like a storage container, yeah. like a biscuit tin or something like that, maybe. There you go, for a free one there, Charlotte. There you go, you've got to spend. Is that how much you got to spend for that one? $300. $300 to get a free one? I'm just buy one. <laughs> Loads of Harry Potter merchandise in here, of course. Like the platform nine and three quarters shirt just down there. What a cool shirt. Oh, that is fantastic, that isn't is it? so cool. Oh, I really like that. Love that. Nice colour as well. There's all the treats over here. <laughs> you like these, don't you, Charlotte? I love these. These are so good. Oh, they've changed them. They're coming like a reusable tin now. Ah, there we go. These are chocolate frogs. Yeah. I don't know how much they are. Three for 35. How much for one? 14. But you get, oh, there you go. That's the one that I said it normally comes in. Ah, oh, yeah. that's the collectible keepsake. Ah, they love the uh, special merchandise they over do. here. Honey juice selection here too. 30 box, every flavor beans. Well, I like the packaging on these. Yeah, you've got chocolate bars. Look at this. That's fantastic. Universal Studios Florida. Confrontation on there. Never got to do it, but wow, I'd love to have experienced that. Heard it was a lot better than uh, King Kong now in Islands of Adventure. Jaws down there as well. Oh, look at the logo on that. That is fantastic. It's too good to eat, that is. This is like my favorite collection of merchandise just here. $28 for your t-shirt with the logo on. Universal Lando Resort and of course Universal Studios Florida. Shot glasses just up here which are very nice. Mugs, I've got those ones back home in the museum as well. I love this. Hey, chocolate it's frog chocolate bag. Chocolate frog bag. How good's that? The thing is, Charlotte, you struggle to fit things into a lounge fly oh bag. Oh my god, it's $70, but that is so right. lovely. Uh, my phone wouldn't even fit in there. Right. <laughs> How cute that would look for my outfit. It is nice. Oh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> this is a nice collection of merch over here as well. Very colourful. Oh, I like that. Fantastic. With the parks all on there. Volcano Bay. That's a really nice collection, isn't it? Very colourful. Oh, that's the window display here. Yeah, let's stand here, we're like, we do a pose. Think of a mannequin. <laughs> All sorts. Yeah, I like this kind of old school brand as well. If you go to actual Universal Studios in Hollywood, then yeah, they've actually got a neon sign like this, which is amazing, I love that. Oh, nice cap selection just over here. Quite like that one there, black and white. That's different, isn't it, with the design on there? $25. Your caps just over here. 27 for that one, which is blue. Massive shop there. I remember when this was redone a few years ago in here. Lots of Simpsons merch just down here too. Big donuts. I like the donut mug, that's a good one. Seen that one before. Had the hole in the middle. It reminds me of a Galactica from Alton Towers mug I've got back home in the collection. Look at this fantastic key ring selection over here. There is so many. Like, look at all of these. $15, I see for a lot of the pricing on these ones. Oh, these are nine. And here at the bottom, the Universal Glow. That's quite a good one. Quite colourful. Oh, look at this. That's fantastic. Some really nice ones. You've got a good one there, haven't you? Trust the one I like for $20. Because it's Harry Potter, that's why. You open it up and there's the chocolate frog. You're paying for the, uh, for the brand just there. Doesn't smell of chocolate though. Oh, ET ones down there as well. Very nice. Oh, and there's E.T. himself, plushy selection over there. Thing one, thing two. And of course, Jurassic Park merch. I found a very good plushie. It's Squidward. Hey. <laughs> How, How much are we talking for plushies? Squidward is $22. That's not too bad, because that Kieran was $20. Well, yeah, I'd rather a plushie. Squidward for 22 hey. <laughs> And of course, Halloween Horror Nights. Hey, the merch. Over here for HHM, which is fantastic. 
Dr. Oddfellow taking over this year as the icon, which is brilliant. Loads of fantastic merch for that. And yeah, just going into the design of the shop again, like all this concept art around the top. Look at that, it's the cat in the hat facade just over there. Love that, really makes it in this shop. Yeah, I do really like the HHM merch. Fantastic, $33. Bear in mind, of course, we're in the States. Yeah, you've got to add the tax on afterwards. You always remember that when you come over here to America. The price you see, plus tax. And here's some more of the Halloween Horror Nights 2023 merchandise. Never go alone. And there's the bag just down there. $30 for this t-shirt just over here. Pretty good design on there. Oh, they all look very spooky about this light. Nothing to do with Halloween Horror Nights. This is just the Coke stand. We have some good merchandise in there. Oh, there's some amazing bits in there. Yeah, really nice collection. I do prefer doing my shopping actually outside of the park hours. You know me, I like to maximise getting the rides in. And that's what's good about City Walk. It means you can maximise the park and then do your shopping afterwards. Which is even better. Let's go in the Legacy Store. And of course, it's also worth pointing out that Universal Orlando does have Coke Freestyle and you can just fill up your water bottle, free of charge, of course, for many of these, um, which is fantastic. And yeah, if you do ask for a cup of water, um, they'll give you a cup so you can fill it up as well. Saves a lot of money on drinks. This is normally a little fountain package just over here where the barriers are, but yeah, it's off at the moment. Uh, I believe it has some construction walls around it only a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, it's just been refurbished. So yeah, hopefully that'll be back on soon. Here we go, it's going to the Universal Legacy store. This used to be the main shop, and then of course they did that one opposite. The cowfish just over there, sushi, burgers, and a bar. There's lots of options, and as you can see, it's a bit quieter now, because obviously people have filtered out now from the park. It's really nice just walking around here on a night. It's got a great atmosphere, all the lighting, the music. Let's go have a look inside the Legacy store just over here. It's well themed, it's got some good old props and things in here. This is a cool use of screens here, isn't it? Like the box opening up and then you got the TVs just there behind it. That's awesome. Hey, look at this in here. Oh wow, straight in with it. Look at this just here, ET ride vehicle. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that in the legacy store. I love how they've just got things on display in here. And that's the thing, obviously some of these things you can't buy, they're just on display for you to see. It's nice and quiet though for walking around tonight. Yeah, it's fantastic. I've just seen one of my all-time favourite shirts just over here, which I'll show you in a second. What you really want to do when you come in here is be looking high up, because look at that, you can see like places under construction on the photos, look at that. That's amazing, like, you can see all the facades there from all the building of this. And yeah, there's a model just at the top there as well, which is awesome. There's the DeLorean from Back to the Future, just up there too. Oh, I love it in here. Yeah, this is my favourite shirt that's over here, look at that. Proper classic Universal Studios. Florida t-shirt see the stars ride the movies Oh, confrontation and this is very nice as well it's very vibrant but yeah I love that it's all stitched in the back as well not just printed on it also comes in poster form as you can see over there too which is fantastic there are more details around here look at this our oh, model of what the lighthouse was going to look like there oh that's brilliant there you go you can see the structure of course at the entrance the Islands of Adventure oh, I love that it's a bit like a museum in here as well preview center up there too look at the logo now if you're a big back to the future fan like myself you'll love this section just here look at all this hoverboard down there as well this is awesome and i don't know what's going on with charlotte over here what's happened to you <laughs> you always count on charlotte to bring the uh, funny moments isn't in here this really shops. Good? Oh, there you go it's quite nice isn't it that Ooh. that from the jurassic world section is over there oh fantastic and yeah you've actually got the escape rooms now we're going to check out where they are just upstairs around the corner but yeah that's brilliant to see oh hello in the hat. yeah she is the cat in, in the, the hat herself oh there's some good ones Shot. on here i can't believe how quiet it is in here this evening it's not even 10 o'clock yeah <laughs> It really fat on my head. Oh, Jaws. Mm. <laughs> there we go, some merch for Velocicoaster. Quite like these wooden models, these are very nice. $40 plus tax. I do like those. Of course, you can paint them up if you want to as well. To continue on here in the Legacy Store, yeah, all sorts of just random props in here. I love it when the shops are this well themed and really interesting. With all this going on, tropical kind of vibes going on over here as well. I wish I got to experience the original King Kong ride here, Confrontation, 1990 to 2002. 
<laughs> yeah, she used to be located where the mummy is now in Universal Studios, Florida. Yeah, look at this model. Wow. Love how they've got that on display. And at the top just here we can see even more kind of old concept art and pictures of it all just here. Wow. All these lanyards over here. You can get like all the clips as well, which is awesome. And at the top, Earthquake. Oh, another great ride. Oh, I do miss that. I tell you what, they have to account some good attractions over the years, especially in the studios park. Lost some big things. And of course, just over here, an actual vehicle from Hagrid's just here, which is really cool. The grand opening celebration. That's fantastic to see. This model is fantastic just here. You got Hogwarts at the top, of course, the show building over there at the back for Forbidden Journey. I mean, in reality, it's much larger than that, but that's the bit that you see. Flight of the Hippogriff down here as well. Yeah, it's a great model, it really is. Oh, and some more fantastic pictures just over here. Some concept art down there at the bottom. That must be from the opening. And of course, the original archway just there now. It looks quite a bit different, actually, to how it used to. And especially when you look at this here, so of course there's the entrance, archways, and look at this, all the car park, obviously now, this is City Walk down here, and you've got the globe kind of somewhere here, all the waterway, amazing how much it's changed, isn't it? Absolutely love it over in the Legacy Store. Now of course City Walk has so much to offer, that much so, we're going to come back uh, tomorrow evening and continue on because we're going to be playing golf, which is going to be nice. Uh, also, we've got to check out the Rising Star, which is the karaoke bar that they've got here. And of course, show you more of what City Walk has to offer here at the Universal Orlando Resort. But it's been nice having a stroll around, hasn't it? Oh, it's been lovely. It's so nice and nice. It's just so vibrant with so much love. I love the colours around here. It's, it's so beautiful. Much. All the neon, all the lights, the music. And yeah, it's perfect. Um, after the parts have closed to come and explore but uh, we'll continue on tomorrow evening I'll leave you with this nice ambience at the fire just over here how nice is that and tonight we're back here at Universal City Walk of course you've got the big sign just over there welcome to Universal Orlando Resorts and we're about to go and play some mini golf really looking forward to this and of course, we wouldn't be able to come here to Orlando without seeing the one and only. It's our good friend Brett. Here he is. Here I am. Hey. Professional golfer. How are you doing? There's no way Sean can beat me tonight at mini golf. Wow. Wouldn't it be funny if I get a hole in one on every one? What's the under or over for both of our uh, hole in ones tonight? <laughs> Six. Well, we got then two courses down here, isn't they? Haunted and sci fi. And we're going on the haunted course. Yeah, the lighting's better at night. If you're going during the day, maybe the sci fi because the holes are better, but this has way better lighting. So you got to do haunted at night. Excited. There you go. Loving the t shirt there as well. Not bad, is uh, it? No crack in it is though no not on this <laughs> oh there we go fantastic i aim to win on this course right we're gonna find out let's go here we go then brett show us what you got pressure's on <laughs> oh he's taking it slow oh. is it gonna be a one is it a one? Oh, oh what was that <laughs> Two left. professional Two left. <laughs> oh it's tense is he gonna get a hole in one Oh. Oh, 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 a bit more oh. speed, it might have been all right. Well, we've had no holes in one yet from Brett. Come on, I want to see him uh, good play going on just there. Uh, <laughs> no hole in ones, but he hasn't told you I'm beating him by five already. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a nice course, though. We've got some theme music as well, because this is the haunted hole. Uh, of course, yeah, we've got Ghostbusters playing down here. I do like the course. Hey. <laughs> here, we go. here we go. This could be a guaranteed one. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it was a guaranteed one. Guaranteed all in one. That's what you said to me. Well, let's see if we can get it in two, just there. Oh no! Get in! <laughs> hey! Fantastic! <laughs> Here we go. Is Brett gonna get the hole in one? If he gets it, I'll be annoyed. Now he told me it was guaranteed. I do like this course though. It's well themed. This is where it goes. Right. Here. If he gets this, I'll be annoyed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! I told you the Holland ones were coming. Right, I've heard that he's been messing around with this. Like, I think he's dented it or something on purpose. Now I'm really going to be annoyed if Charlotte gets it as well. Oh no, she's just come down the side. She's thought, yeah. I'm not even going through the snake. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, the theming's really good here. 
And yeah, in terms of pricing, it's around $20 um, per person to play it. So yeah, it is quite pricey, but you've got to think it's well themed and also the location as well, right in the heart of City Walk. We've got the big haunted house just over there as well. And yeah, it's located actually right underneath the uh, moving walkway that brings you into City Walk just up there. Well, this one's really difficult. So you've got like a spider's web just over here and it's, your ball's got stuck, Brett. Not good. This is my first blip of the match. Oh, no, <laughs> never good when your ball gets stuck, is it? But uh, there you go. I do like how it's a big spider just there. Look at this. Fantastic. Yeah, right yeah. underneath the walkway. It's going to be a three for Brett. He doesn't like getting a three. And of course, we mentioned earlier on how you've got two courses here. One that's haunted that we're doing and also you've got the sci-fi one. Look at this. You've got a spaceship just over here. And yeah, I do love the lighting that actually goes around the edge of all the holes. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah, really nice down here. Never done it before. Oh, I'm loving this course. Having a great time here, Charlotte. Look at this, you got the fountain and it sprays out the top as well. And when you're in Florida, even though you're on an evening, you appreciate that spray very much. Here we go. It's not come out, Oh, where are you ball? Oh, here it is. Hey. I got a hole in one on a course that was quite hard, so I'm so happy about that. And Brett got a three on it, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm falling into the bush. <laughs> He's made sure to only video my bad holes. What about all the good holes, mate? Oh, uh, he holes? said he had the record on here for a year, but yeah, I don't believe him. Yeah. <laughs> he is winning. He is. Oh, it's great fun though. Like, look at all this theming over here, all the plant pots. And we're going in this big haunted house just over here now, which is great. Look at this big scale set piece. And here he goes. I don't know if he wants to. Gonna be a hole in one, I, I reckon. I'm gonna go for that middle one. See, so yeah, you got all the stairs just there, and you got the, like, the cracks in the stairs. Middle and then, and then it comes out this could be good. inside here somewhere. Out of one of them holes. Has it come in? Oh, hey, hey. oh! <laughs> he wanted that on video as well. Oh, we got some uh, ghost projections in there. That would have been good on camera, that one. So we're here now on the final hole, number 18, and of course you've got the par, which is number three on this one. It tells you that on the sign, but what I do really like is how they've all got different names and also a bit of backstory as well. And look at the awesome theme in here on hole 18. Brett's up, and it goes into a ride system in here by the looks of it. Look at this, it goes all the way up. Oh wow, you got like a track. It's a cred, but we're never going to get this one, isn't it? It's like a good lifter on it too. It does, spiral lifter, it reminds me of Euro man. <laughs> this is great. Lift hill and everything all the way across. It's a proper laboratory in here. This is amazing. This is probably one of the best golf hole holes I've ever seen. Like this is brilliant. Really good course. How good was that last hole there? That was so good. I've never seen that done before. Oh we got the scores then just uh So we have so in last place was me with 54 points. Oh. Oh. It's not points, it's 54 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> then in third place was Sean with 47 bucks. Uh, in second place was Alex with 45 and 40 for Brett. Hey, hey, professional. I knew it's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. So I enjoyed that a lot. It's a really good it's course. It's an amazing course. I think it's underrated. Oh. I think it's a little overpriced, but you got to expect it with the location. Yeah, I think mean, it's in a premium location. Yeah, the, the actual course with the Lions, fantastic. If you're at Universal and the park's closed and you're in the resort, come and give this a go. It's amazing. Show a little walk around the UFA one just yeah. to see some of the theming. Let's go and give it a go. Now, we thought we won't play two lots of 18 tonight, but uh, yeah, you got a cow on this one down here. And off to the left, look at this. <laughs> Quite unique. Is it really I do really like the light in there all around this course. Lots of park hands. There's the big spaceship just over there too. Spaceship! Hey. I think the other one's better themed in my opinion. It's a bit more basic this. Now of course the haunted house is like the big signature prop on the other course. Yeah, with this one you got this big kind of, is it an alien would you say Brett? Is that what we're calling yeah, it? alien or something. I don't know. It's like the aliens have landed and they've turned some holes upside down and stuff. The theme is kind of a bit of a mismatch. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> this one's good to see, they've got the little blasters. There we go, this is the sort of size they need to be on Minion Blast. <laughs> I say this one's more enjoyable holding the guns than Minion Blast. <laughs> and yeah, there's a basic animatronic just over there as well. A few animatronic lovers out there. It's great though here in City Walk, I do really like it. This one's called Abduction and yeah, we're actually inside the spaceship. Oh, this is cool. I do like it and the door actually closes over there as well. Oh, that's yeah, fantastic. Once it closes, not right now, but you push it to open and it opens up. That's a nice feature, I do like that. 
And right next door to the haunted house, you'd think this was actually part of the haunted cause, but it's not, it's the sci-fi one. And there you go, in the mouth just here. Yeah, this is brilliant. The lighting is fantastic on this as well. Oh, it actually spins round. That is awesome. Oh, that illusion. There we go, viewers. Sending you all to sleep with that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Really enjoyed the golf here at Universal City Walk. I don't know how I feel about Charlotte driving in the Whoa. United States. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Charlotte's never drove in America. No, yeah. side of the road. <laughs> this is why I drove on the road trip, you see. <laughs> oh, I love it. Great photo op. Well, let's continue on having a stroll around City Walk after a fantastic game of golf. And here you got the City Walk hot dog. Hall of Fame just over here, so you can get your hot dogs. World's best dogs, it says just on there. You know what, I've never tried these over here before, but maybe at some point in the future, I'll give them a go. Mexican restaurant just over here. I like how you got the bell that's on top there too. You know, so many restaurants. A lot of them have got al fresco outdoor dining, which is very nice as well. They used to actually have a nightclub just over here, but actually now it's Universal's great movie Escape, which is a set of escape rooms I would love to do these, but I know they are quite expensive. But you've got Back to the Future and also Jurassic World. Now, not normally big fans of escape rooms, are we, Charlotte? I bet these would be really well themed. Though. With them being universal, yeah, I bet they'd do a great job. They'd be great. And of course, I'm a big fan of both franchises there as well. I love Jurassic Park. And I love Back to the Future and Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World as it is. Yeah, I'd love to do this. Yeah, it's quite expensive, I believe. But yeah, they have got the escape rooms. And of course, you've got all the nightlife just up here as well, Fat Tuesday, just there. And yeah, for Halloween Horror Nights, we've actually got somewhere called the Red Coconut Club. And that's where we're gonna head tonight. We're gonna go and check it out, go and have a drink, have a cocktail. Look at the atmosphere, it's pumping around here. Really like it. Oh, the atmosphere is pumping around here. You've also got City Walk's Rising Star, which is a karaoke bar with a live band. So we're gonna check this out tonight. Here's Brett having a sing song. Is this the real life? <laughs> Is this just a fantasy? Yeah. <laughs> in a landslide, no escape from reality. This isn't the actual karaoke, you know, it's in there. Hey, look at this in there. So you actually come and sing on the stage with a live band. How amazing is this? There's not many places out there where you can come and sing for free with a live band. The ultimate karaoke here in the Rising Star. I love it here in City Wall, it's such a vibe. Yeah, the Rising Star is amazing. We're gonna go and get a cocktail now. Look at these over here. Woo! Oh, the lights on, brilliant. Oh, look at this, just thought we're coming to Pat O'Brien's over here now, like a piano bar. Fantastic, look at that for a fountain package. You know me, I love a good fountain. And it's got the fire in the top, it's like Valhalla. Right, I'm having this in my garden, look at this. Wow, that's probably one of the most impressive water features I've ever seen. With all the fuego in the top just there, that is amazing, that. Next door we got Bob Marley's house. Let's go and have a look inside here. I love it around here. The fans have got so much entertainment and nightlife. It's fantastic. And we're now going into the Dead Coconut Club. Sometimes it's called the Red Coconut Club, but at Halloween, it's dead. Let's go inside. Oh, I love the atmosphere around here. It is pumping. And here we're making our way now into the Red Coconut Club. But as you can see at Horror Nights, it changes into the Dead Coconut Club. Let's go inside, theme bar. And here's a look then at the drinks menu here in the Dead Coconut Club. Let's have a cocktail. And I've gone for the Plasma Punch just here, of course in the HHN Souvenir Cup, $16.50. Hey, nice drink, Charlotte! Woo! Say Coconut Club! Woo! Oh 
my god, the party vibe was real there for Halloween Horror Nights and the absolutely awesome Dead Coconut Club. Oh, that was so much fun. Get my dance on. We just spent like 90 minutes in there, partying the night away, brilliant DJ, some awesome cocktails as well, and not too badly priced considering it's free entry to go in there as well. And you get your nice souvenir cups, which is even better. Oh, and along with that, the Rising Stars, brilliant. You've just seen a good look around City Walk and everything that it's got to offer. It's fantastic here, because especially when he's staying on site. It's like now, all we got to do is get on the boat back, haven't oh, we? it's so easy to get back. Oh, so before we wrap up this vlog from City Walk, we're going to jump on the boat now and just show you that experience, which of course takes you back down to the hotels. And of course, you've got the little dancing fountains just over here as well. What a fantastic atmosphere down here. I love City Walk. And of course, connect the two parks. And during Halloween Horror Nights, like it's just gone midnight now, Universal Studios Florida is open for another two hours. So you can go in there, have your free drinks, have a party, and then go and get some more rides and of course attractions in. And here we go, as you mentioned earlier on, you've got the boat dock right here. And yeah, it connects to most of the resorts, not all of them. And yeah, we get this one down to Sapphire Falls and just cross the road and end back up at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. And here we go, it's only took about five minutes to wait and we're getting on the water taxi. Yeah, you love these boats. Look at this. I love how we're even getting a bit of Ghostbusters on here tonight. Look at Toots and Chocolate Emporium over there. It looks amazing. And of course, Islands of Adventure over there as well. The big beams of light coming up from the Hulk and also Velocicoaster. an action-packed vlog it's been from Universal City Walk and we've seen and done a variety of things in this vlog as well of course we played adventure golf we've been to Tuesday Chocolate Emporium and had a brilliant night out as well as part of Halloween Horror Nights with the Dead Coconut Club. City Walk is absolutely fantastic there is so much to offer from restaurants to shops there is just so much to offer. Cinema, golf, we love it. Yeah, there's so much down there. Lots of dining and of course lots of really fancy sit-down restaurants if you want that. Quick service stuff as well, just like getting a simple pizza. Voodoo donut, didn't get one actually um, during this fall, but I have had a couple whilst I've been here. And of course, yeah, just taking up the atmosphere. What I love about City Walk is the location. Of course, between the two parks, and then you just jump on the water taxi or of course get the bus back um, to your accommodation. It's really nice and easy and it's just really good fun down there. I also like with City Walk, how it's open late on an evening as well. Sometimes up until 1 a.m., um, which is brilliant. Obviously, with it being ha Halloween Horror Nights at the moment, that's open until two, but normally you think the parks are closed at like nine, 10 o'clock. So really, you've got a good few hours every night to enjoy City Walk. That's the thing, there's so much for people to do on an evening in City Walk. There's just so much choice for people. Yeah, and there's lots of live music as well. I mean, the Rising Star Karaoke is oh. good fun in there. There was a massive queue um, to sing, as we definitely would have, but we'll be back in the future and we love it over in the Rising star but uh, of course make sure you check out all of our other vlogs here from the Universal Orlando Resort and we've still got loads more coming up from our trip here to Florida but of course from City Walk that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep on riding. riding we'll see you in the next video